Hey friends, it's Laura. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing a gorgeous traveler's notebook layout that I made to go in my Life Crafted album by Citrus Twist Kids. And to make this page, I am going to be using the March 2019 Citrus Twist Kits. And I am so loving this layout, the way that it turned out, all of the little details. I am in love. I start off with the different six by eight patterned papers that came in the Life Crafted album by Citrus Twist Kits this month. And I wasn't loving any of the colors with my photograph because my photograph is really subdued. It's mostly black and white, and then it's got a little bit of tan and creamy colors in it where he's sitting on the windowsill. So I didn't love any of those bright colored pattern paper backgrounds. So I decided I would make my own using the stamps that came in the kits this month. And I especially love how a lot of the phrases are really honest ones. They're meant to document your life in all of its seasons. So not just the good stuff, but the bad stuff. And this particular thing that I am documenting was when my cat first got sick last year and was diagnosed with kidney disease. And so just doing a little bit of journaling about this. If you did not know, I'm making an entire scrapbook, traveler's notebook for him that I have been working on ever since he got sick. And then last summer he passed away. But I'm working on this in retrospect and kind of gave myself some time and some distance after that happened to start working on his album again. And so that's what I'm doing today. And a lot of these little sentiments on the stamps are perfect for what I'm going to be talking about in my journaling in this layout. Things like stories happen, endings, beginnings, struggling, changes, lots of little sentiments like that that I use that document this huge major life change we had when he got sick and how things were pretty hard, but he was always there and I was really grateful for that time that I had with him taking care of him when he got sick because so many people don't get the opportunity to say goodbye to their pets and I had you know six months of taking care of him and uh, just loving up on him as much as I possibly could and trying to make him as comfortable as I could before he died so just really being grateful for that time and wanting to make this page really beautiful it's one of my most favorite photographs of him I have ever taken ever. So I matted this photograph with a little bit of that blue and pink star patterned paper in the kit this month. And then you can see on the back of that, I added some more layers of white cardstock just so that the image would pop up off of my page a little bit and give it a little bit of dimension. And I love how that turned out. And I've got some different ephemera bits here from the kit. And I like that numbers one. It really doesn't have anything to do with my layout at all or this photograph or anything. But I liked it and I love the light pink. I think it ties in with the creamy color of the windowsill that he is sitting on. And I cut down this little tab that is a soft wood grain color that also ties in that creamy wood sill. And I think it says new chapter. And then I've got some different florals here. I used a couple of the florals that came in the ephemera pack. And then I also fussy cut some out of that uh, pattern paper that you can see on the screen there. So I am layering that all up on this cute white scalloped envelope that came in the kit this month. And this envelope is one of my favorite things. I absolutely adore it. So I'm layering up all those embellishments and my photograph and you can see I also took some white thread and kind of made a mess out of it, balled it up and stuck that down to my page as well. And then I added a couple of stars hearts from the ephemera pack and I finished off that embellishing by adding that chipboard light pink circle that says always and I love that because I love my cat and he will always be in my heart and he will always be, you know, probably the animal I've had the longest. I had him half of my life. Um, 
So yeah, just always in my heart, always loving him, always thinking about him. And I am making a tag here. I used a tag from my stash as a template and then created a tag about the same size and shape using that same star purple, blue, pink pattern paper that I backed my photograph with. And I really like how that turns out. And I use this chunky pink thread or yarn to kind of tie that up at the top. And that is where I'm going to put a lot of my journaling about this time that I was going through and just about my cat and how much I loved him. And uh, actually most of this particular journaling is going to be right when he first got sick. So when we were at the vet and I was finding out he was sick and I'm using that stamp kit again. Oh my gosh, the fonts are just incredible and I love the phrases and you can see I got a little bit messy with my stamping there and kind of smudged a little. So I am just creating this hand drawn border around my tag and that's going to give it a fun messy look that makes the stamping look look uh, kind of like it was meant to be that way and not like I very obviously messed up, I think. I don't know. Uh, maybe to other people it looks like I messed up, but I like it once I outline it. And I think a good hand-drawn border can fix most things in a layout if it just doesn't look complete. So I am doing that for my base and then I'm doing the journaling about the day we are in the vet and I found out uh, he had a terminal illness. And I am obsessed with this pattern paper that I ended up making. You can see here all of those stamped phrases and I kind of offset them. So sometimes I would put the stamps on the right hand side of the page, sometimes on the left. And then at the very end, when my blocks of stamps didn't fill up the whole thing, I went and put in a couple of individual phrases to fill up some of the empty spaces I had when stamping. And I think it turned out just lovely. You can see all of the dimension here, all of the layers, the chipboard and the ephemera and that photo popped up in the tag, the scalloped envelope. I just want a thousand of those scalloped envelopes. They are so cute. And I love that I brought in more of those light pink flowers by fussy cutting the paper because there were only two of them in the ephemera pack. And you know I love my florals. So cut a few more of those out and this is what it looks like. So I hope you have enjoyed seeing how this layout came together. I am loving working on this album of my kitten and I hope you enjoy seeing how I have used this month's citrus twist kits and make sure to check them out. I will link the blog post for this layout down below. If you want to Pinterest some images, give me a follow on YouTube so you don't miss any of my fun projects and I will also link my crafty e-courses down below if you want to get crafty with me. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!